Hello everyone, it's Loretta on Anything Finance. So guys, in today's episode, I'm not going to be talking about different things about finance like I do. But in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys an interesting story about how I feel that I've been in the dark about finance. So I don't know whether what I feel is right or wrong, as if like somebody put a veil over my eyes and I, I didn't know what was happening and people were like, like cashing out with Pi Network. Yes, believe me, cashing out with Pi Network. And I didn't know about it. I messed up. Although I was initially part of Pi Network and I even did, like, I have old videos I did about Pi Network. But at a point, I totally gave up entirely. And you guys are going to see the reason why. So I will allow you guys to be the judge of it. So, so you guys should sit back, please watch and be the judge of it. Whether I'm making sense or I'm not making sense. So, after a long time of like mining, pining, work, I finally decided, okay, I said, okay, I'm packing up. I'm no longer doing. Like, I was even ready to dash out my card if it was possible. I started talking about pining work. I stopped listening to anything concerning Pi Network or even watching things about Pi Network. In fact, I literally stopped believing, like hoping that Pi Network will pay in the future or do something like that. But little did I know that I was wrong. Yeah, that was the wrong move at that time. Well, people will be like, why was it wrong? Like, seriously, why? You felt that you did something wrong. Like, I was frustrated. Who wouldn't be? So, all the happening with Pi Network at a point like got me frustrated. You wake up one day, the, the Pi call team will come and say so so thing, or oh, we are doing this, we are doing that, there's this particular competition, participate, people are participating, you go on Twitter, just post. It was, it was as if they were just all about the money. Like that was what pissed me off. But even at that, I just kept on doing it. I kept on believing. I kept on hoping. Until I met this friend of mine one day. And she saw me mining as usual. Like I used to do. Like whenever I have which I'm just buying. Be active. Like I preach on my channel. So on that faithful day, I was still mining. And my friend was like, uh, she saw me. She saw me trying to mine or I was mining. And she was like, what are you still doing? I was like, yes, Pi Network. Are you not still on Pi Network? Yeah, yeah. She, she used to my I invited her myself. She was under me. So she was like, I, I've done this shit. I'm not doing this anymore because can't you see, girl, open your eyes. Like, can't you see this people are using you? At that point, I was like, so, are you sure this girl is not making sense? Are you sure they are not using her? Because to tell you the truth, every day I long to come to Pi Network. I always make sure that I watch the ads. I watch their adverts. Everything on the app, do this, do that. I did them because I was like, maybe if I help them to make more money, if I encourage the pie, uh, the pie cutting, if I don't, maybe they will just be compelled to launch, right? So there I was watching the ads day in, day out thinking I was being a good pioneer. So that was just basically me. But my friend just made sense. He was like, why are you doing all this? At the end of the day, you're wasting your time. So after she said it, I intentionally did as if it didn't bother me. But <laughs> it was what really on my face. I think she saw it at that time because something about me is that whenever I feel hot, like you will see it boldly on my face. So I felt as if I had been used by Pine as well. So that was what I felt at that time. So the I got home, the KYC that I wanted to do that time, that day, that, that was the day. I said after this KYC, I'm done with Pine as well. So I literally rushed over it. Yes, I think I rushed over it. I didn't even check whether the information were correct. I ignored. Like cheating because you know they says your KYC information will have to correspond with the one you registered with according to their rules that I didn't check. So I just registered. I just KYC it. So at the end of it, that was it. I said no more mining, nothing. I even stopped, literally stopped talking about buying it on my channel. I stopped it. I gave up. 
like I literally gave up. I didn't even, I never opened the app. But one thing I did that I love was that I didn't delete the app. Um, I hardly do this anyway. I hardly delete any app. I lose interest in. So basically, that was just me. So as time went on, after some few months, I now started hearing some things. I started hearing like, like rumors that people were making money by selling by network. <laughs> Imagine my surprise then. I was like, what? This can be true. So I literally didn't pay any mind to that. So one day I was chatting with a friend. So immediately I got a chat from one of my friends that I met like like two years or three years, two years or two years back or three years. I can't remember exactly, but I met him when I was I think when I was seven. And he was the one that actually introduced me to Pine Network. Yeah, he's my lead, my he's my team leader like this. See, so this guy says something. He started chatting me with like, "How are you? How have you been all these years?" Or blah blah blah, like normal trying to catch up. And all of a sudden, he says something. He was like, how much did you sell your pie coin for? Yeah. I was like, pie coin? Can you say that again? Pie coin? Are you sure? Do you know what you're saying? Pie coin? Sell pie coin? Are they selling pie coin? That was the last lesson that came out of my mind. Are they selling pie coin? Have you seen anybody sell their pie coin? Are they making money off of pie coin? But surprisingly, he said yes. He now said something. He said that um, some people actually sold for 400 naira because, yeah, I'm in Nigeria. So, per coin, 400 naira. And those people that were able to do it are those that have already done their KYC. Like, they don't have any issues with their KYC. So, they can easily sell their coin in at any point in time. So, hmm, imagine my shock. So, I asked him. Is this you possible to sell my coin? Yeah, your girl needed money. I needed money, yes. So he said, yes, luckily you can still sell your coin. He said he wasn't even available that he could buy my if I wanted to sell it to him. I said, okay, no problem. Let me quickly just check whether my KYC is like already approved because I'm sure I did KYC because I I KYC it. So hmm. Surprisingly, what I saw is shocking. It's just shocking. So I opened my phone, opened my Pi Network app to check whether I KYC or whether the KYC was successful. Shockingly, they said because the information I provided when I registered, when I started to my Pi app, uh, Pi Coin. The information I registered at the beginning does not correspond with the current one I provided. Imagine the shock. So that was how <laughs> I felt like a loser, like a real loser. I, I knew I felt like a loser before when my friends suggested that they are buying this for you me, but uh, I didn't feel that bad because I started because before I checked the KYC, I already made the I did the mental math. I did like oh, if I sell for four hundred, or oh, I could be making like six hundred or something thousand like <coughs> cool cash. That was what I thought. Man, I didn't know that <laughs> the surprise was just waiting for me. Like he, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> that was very, 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 very heartbreaking. So, as you can already guess, yes, I had to start all over again. I have, I have applied for another KYC. I'm trying to KYC again, but up to now, no information yet. And the surprising thing, the most surprising thing about Pilot's work. And it's even infuriating. I don't know whether it's only me because am I the only one that feels mad about it or that gets mad over it? They can't actually tell me specifically, okay, this is the information. This is the information that you gave us that time. And this is the one that you're giving us now that doesn't tally. So where am I getting it wrong? I can't even tell. Seriously. Oh, mosquitoes are disturbing me here. 
but less I'll finish my gist. As you can tell, this this is more scripted like I am heartbroken. That's just it. I just have to come and bear my mind to you guys. That's it. So the thing is now like I already know that maybe they might still grant me the opportunity of like having my course in the future by granting my like like making my KYC successful, like or telling me, okay, this is where you got this wrong, go do it again. Because this is the second time I'm doing it. And up to now, they've not even answered. They've not even said, okay, you've done it wrong again. You're successful. You're not successful. So what is keeping them? I don't know. And I really want to literally just sell because I tried. I tried like every freaking time, every freaking free time I have. I was mining. I was mining. By me, so I pressed my phone like. Even when I don't have time, I'll be in the bus. I'll press. I'll mine. I'll remember that. Oh. This is my team number, I need to mine so that I will get more coins, something like that. I was always busy, like promoting by network. So why would I lose us in the end? That is what I don't get. And I don't want to lose us in the end. So if anybody knows any pie cutting, please tell them. Tell them to actually answer me. Let them go there and tell me, okay, this is what you are getting wrong. This is what you need to do. I need to get my KYC done. Okay? Okay. That of my chest. And now, to make up for this finance of thing, because this thing is still pissing me off, I've decided, like all this airdrop I see on Telegram, going left, right, and center, even though hamster messed us up. Yeah, hamster messed everybody up. Everybody was thinking about Lamborghini, to buy. Some people even price houses. Yeah, they wanted to buy houses, but yeah, that's another story for another day. Yeah. People had high hopes for hamster, yeah. but what happened happened. Hamster messed everybody up. They did list at a good price and gave everybody shitty amounts of coin. But that is it. That is okay because that will not make me stop mining. For now, every airdrop I see on the yeah on Telegram, I mine. You see it long. See. So market, you see Memphis, you see, um, you see Bitra, you see CA.io, you see, um, there are many, many of them out there. I try to like at least partake, like actually be a little bit active and not give up, okay? And I try to like follow the information so the community back to back to actually know okay, link this, I'll link it at that time. So that if I'm making a mistake, at least somebody will guide me and say, Okay, this is what you did wrong or something like that. Well, let's hope that Pi Network answered me one day and I get to sell my Python and when I do I'll I will share the good news with you guys. Definitely I will do that. And so guys, I would like to know as what price did Pine Network sell at in your country? At what price did they sell at? Mine, like I said, some we are selling 400, I heard some we are even more than that. So it depends. So, at what price did Pine Network sell at your own side or in your country? So, please let me know in the comment section. I'd like to know. And also, guys, your girl is back for good. I know I've not been consistent years. Yeah, I'm very, very, very terrible at being consistent in this content creation thing, but I'll try to like update us like from time to time. We're talking about a lot of things about finance, apart from ranting, this is not the only thing I do. Yeah, <laughs> I'll talk about other things like you get to try out um, different money making. Uh, to see whether they actually work and you also I will also give you from time to time other because like I told you guys I'm reading financial books to actually boost my knowledge on finance because you can't venture into finance without being knowledgeable in finance if you still want to know more about uh, financial education I advise you to watch this video about how to actually become good in finance because you have to actually be educated first in finance before delving deep into finance. So friends, this is me signing out. I'm going to leave you now. See your girl, Loretta, on anything finance. Until we see you next time, Zai Jian.